Justin, last week you said you wouldn't know exactly how the quad was going to respond until you were in the game. How, how did it respond in the game and, and a couple days after? Um, it was all right, you know. Uh, it's never, like I said, you know, throughout the week you're, you're trying to prep to, you know, get ready to play a game. When you're out there in the game, um, you're just like unconsciously moving. And so, uh, but it was great. I mean, I thought it was, I thought it was great as the game went on. Um, you know, I had to get my feet under me. I haven't tackled. Um, I mean, since Seattle, but even then the tackling, tackling was limited. So, uh, but it was good. It was good just to get my feet under me. And, uh, you know, it was just good to get a game, you know, back with the guys. Do you feel like you're right there with tackling or do you think you still need a couple of games since you've really only had one full game? Yeah, no, I think that's just going to come with, uh, you know, repetition. Um, you know, I think there's always in, in any game, you know, uh, there's always room for improvement. Um, the angles that you're taking, uh, whether you need to take a shot, break down, um, you know, those are the type of things that, that you're going through. And like I said, you know, you can get those in practice all the way up until you actually have to do it. Uh, so just continue working on that and, uh, you know, just keep pushing forward. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, it's always emotional. Um, you know, after the game, I uh, try to answer, you know, the questions as best as I can. Um, but, you know, the, it, you just, it's hard to get up with raw emotion and to be able to, um, you know, articulate. I know I talked about how big, you know, that game was going to be for us. And so to get up there after, um, you know, an overtime loss was uh, was pretty tough. But, um, you know, it's the 24-hour rule. You know, that, that's out the window. Um, you know, we're focused on the Jets, um, getting a huge win at home. And... Uh, this is a uh, you know the biggest game of the year for us. What do you think of Brees Hall? Brees Hall, when you look at the rookie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think he's a I think he's a really talented runner. I think, um, you know, his carries have gone up every week. You know, since he's been with the team, and uh, you know he runs hard and uh, he has really good movement. Uh, he makes people miss a lot. You know, in the back end, and so uh, just like last week, you know, with with uh, with Eckler, you know, for us as a as a defense, but in the secondary as well, when check downs happen and things like that, you know, we got to be really good at trying to eliminate, um, you know, yards after the catch, um, whatever that looks like, because, you know, they're going to have the deep concepts and, um, you know, Zach's done a good job at taking the check downs when he needs them. Um, so we're going to have to do a good job both in the run and in the pass game, you know, make sure we contain him. Do you think quarterbacks are doing that more as they see people play a little more zone coverage in the back that they want to get it to the back and let them? Yeah, yeah, I think I think it's hard for a lot of quarterbacks, right? Um, you know, this league is is predicated off the big play. And, um, you know, as a defense, if you can keep the big play off your back and make a team drive the field, um, it's tough, you know? It's tough to consistently move the ball um, without penalties, without setbacks, without tackles for losses. And so, um, you know, that's not always what you want to do is just check the ball down. So uh, I think, I think, you know, the quarterbacks that uh, we've gone up against have done a good job trying to balance that, um, you know, keeps us honest as a defense. And, you know, that's not going to change on Sunday. So we're just going to have to stay on top of it. How yeah, tough you talk it. about the 24-hour rule turning a new leaf. But that frustration, I mean, do you still kind of keep that? Do you use that and turn it into fuel? Or do you really just compartmentalize? Yeah, um, it's weird. It's, it's a combination of both, right? It's recognizing that, um, you know, we are who we are. Um, you know, we're sitting here at 2-4, and 0-2 oh in the West. And uh, there's no, yeah, you know, put that to the side and, and you know, that, that's who we are. Um, but it's also recognizing that um, there's still plenty of ball left to, to change our season around. And, I mean, we've seen in years past with different teams, like as soon as you get, you know, a couple wins under your belt and you're on that streak, you just find a rhythm and hit the ground running. And so, um, for me, I believe in that with the guys that we have, offense, defense, special teams, coaches. Um, we have everything we need in this building, and uh, we just got to believe in each other, um, block out the noise, and just focus on the task at hand, and that's the Jets on Sunday. How tough was it in the second quarter when you, you kept forcing them to third downs, but they stayed on the field and, and had like 15 play, 14 play drives? Yeah, you know, that was frustrating for us. I think, um, I mean, hats off to them. They, there are some schematic things that they did that, um, you know, that we had to adjust to throughout the game, but. You know, a lot of things were self-inflicted. Um, I don't know exactly the numbers, but uh, there are a lot of penalties, um, you know, a lot of yards that they got off those penalties. And so, uh, you know, for us, it's, it's just making sure that, you know, we eliminate those things, right? We eliminate those and we take a few field goals away. And I'm, obviously, you know, you can't, but 
Um, you know, what, who knows what happens? If they punt instead of getting a field goal, offense gets into a rhythm. I mean, those are the types of things that I think about. I don't think about, you know, things that I can't control. I think about the things that defense is on the field. We control this. How can we get better? And those are some of the things I think about. You pointed to penalties, and it's such a broad thing. How does that get corrected and, and fixed? Yeah, I mean, a lot of them are, are just self-inflicted, right? Um, I mean, obviously, everyone, you know, we're talking about the, the pass interference calls and, um, you know, I don't want to get fined, but I don't know uh, exactly, um, you know, how some of those were, were ruled. Um, I know Chubb had that one <laughs> roughing the passer call, which I don't even know what roughing the passer is. Um, but I, th it's just those things, you know, like figuring out the, the small details that, that figuring out, talking with the refs, like what, what exactly are you looking for? How can I play this better? And just trying to have that conversation so those things don't happen, right? Because a lot of those things, obviously, some of them are obvious. Some of them can be judgment calls. And uh, we just need to do a better job. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter our opinion on it, right? The, the fact of the matter is that it was called. It affects our game. It affects how we play the next play. And we just got to be better. Did you talk to Mathis after the game? Um, I don't, maybe nothing that's uh, directly going to affect, um, you know, the Jets game on Sunday. I think, you know, for us as a team, it's recognizing like, you know, after Sunday's game, maybe, you know, the routine needs to switch up a little bit. Like now we're now we're getting, you know, ready to take a nine hour plus flight, um, you know, get a little bit more sleep. Um, if you can, and, and whatever the case may be. But I think, uh, I think for us, you know, it's recognizing the, the task at hand. Um, obviously, it's going to be great. You know, we're going to London. Um, you know, we're going to be out there. But it's recognizing that we're out there to go win a game, right, when we, when we get to play Jacksonville. Um, but I don't think that's going to affect anything that, uh, you know, guys are, are looking to accomplish this week in terms of, you know, the regular routine of uh, of a game week, because you know, especially at home, which is a blessing. You know, get to play at home before we go, so that's great too. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Justin.